How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'd be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Tell me, if Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm, but I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the Crystalline Dominion. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard. The gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving. Half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here in Northreach. It was the veil that took us in, that fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. Those that could be healed, at least. My love was already too far gone. He passed away. He did, not long after we arrived. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. That I would repay my debt to the Veil. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter. All united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. <laughs>